hey guys what's up it's me Pens, and I'm finally doing the video y'all deserve that I've been putting off for a long while and it's about online mode and training mode you guys might not know about the latter but online is first of course so let's move to my display capture I guess um, so how does online mode work well as you can see here um, this pin that's playing the game is called Blue Stacks. It's an emulator. Now you need this emulator on the host side because the host would have an emulator. And you do not need a controller to do this. At, you don't need a controller on either side. All you need to do is have this thing called UC, Universal Control Remapper and one of that. You're going to see a parsec link in the description that details how to do this, but basically it's your keyboard emulating a controller and it will work even across parsec. So yeah, but that's what I'm doing right now. That's how I'm able to move with both things. I have not the necessary controller for my PC. All it's using is UCR and one of the apps, I forgot the name. And I have a profile here for, Ken, for me, that's what Ken. And it's on WASD for the second player. Now you might wonder, why am I doing a second player? Well, I'll tell you about that later. So, we're going to talk about the parsec, right? So, parsec, you have to have a good PC for this. Uh, sorry. Um, my PC is not even the best. That's why I can't even host the game. But I can always join games, and it's really great. Great connection. So, I've been playing with two other people. One of them is right here, called Japan. And this is my friend who works here. And then one called Yuri Yu Yu Kun. Yu Yu Kun is in freaking Japan, and we have great connection. So, as long as you have a good PC and Ethernet cable, you'll be fine. So, yeah, I have good connection, and that's what I've been doing for online. I just connect to them. They use a controller, or I use a controller. I hook it up in the game. You can go over here. Just options and some controls. If if it freezes there, press Enter or press your Start button, and then you can go here, assign your controller, and stuff like that. Now. We're going to talk about training mode. So, this is something that you guys should probably click off of if you are not really that in touch with code, but that's basically what it is. So, I have an app uh, program which you guys are going to install called Auto It. And Auto It um, basically it's a program that works off of your keyboard controls. So, if I look at here, I can try to simplify this as much as I can. But here, I have hotkeys for my setups, so I have hotkeys to reload the whole program. I have one that performs a setup for Eden on the left side, or performs on the right side. These are other setups. And over here, you can see left, um, left side, up, down. These are these controls which are going to be for player one. So this keyboard thing doesn't work for for controllers, so you have to use a keyboard. So that's why it's always player one, because you can hook up, because you can always use a keyboard on player one, but you can't use a keyboard on player two for some reason. So yeah, that's why it's player one. Um, and then I put, so forget all these light fronts, heavy fronts stuff, this is one other game. But yeah, this is um, the G. And G is my light, my heavy, my special, and my EX. And I'll send you guys this link. It's really just for Eden versus Cast. If you are really, if you're good at looking at code, then you guys are going to get this easily. Basically, um, if I, I go here, I close this, and this even set the right. So, this even set up, it's going to take in two stuff. It's going to take in whether I'm performing it left or right. And if I'm performing it forward, if the forward one right here is taken, is going to be taken from two arguments like this. And left would be forward, right would be backward, or it would be like this, right would be forward, and left would be backward. So it's still just like that. So this one's going to send backward and down, and it's going to block. And then it's going to block with these many frames, which I calculated using the editor, so I can see um, how long you take blocks in from even time or something. But yeah. Um, and then and I'll make him jump, and I'm 
not going to explain everything because it gets boring. So this is essentially what it does. So what you have to do, of course, when you bust the file here, um, I just made the head. And yeah, so what I did for the setup is that I punched in two times like this, just to set up the spacing. And then I threw a fireball, it will block, and it will do one of three things. It will do either IAD jump heavy as one. And it will randomly do that and three other options. I supposed to make him block it, so that's why it's doing really it. Okay. I ID again. Really Do I ID? Really Stand it heavy. Stand it heavy. Really I ID. Really Those are the three options that's going to do, and they went through. So yeah, that's, that's my training mode, and I have yet to put in even more stuff, but my other hotkeys, they do this. He does a heavy, does a back dash, and does either a heavy something, or he does a base air fireball or something, which he's going to do. He's going to say, it's random, so it's really successful, I think. Put the entire E, of course. Entire or stuff that or stuff the time they have For the other setup. Eventually it's gonna do it. Eventually. It's never been this many times in a row that we've done this. Just to see. He would either do a spend it heavy or he would do a. Well, I don't know why I did put the control back here, but I don't know why I did that. Let's do fighter four. But yeah, or he'd either do a jump for it. He'd jump for either rate 17 to a heavy or rate 17 to a jump for it. Anyway, yeah, that's my training mode. Pretty boring. I have to go through all that. That's why they want to make this video in the first place. But yeah, that's how you do online and training moves. Hope you guys like it.